so much. <laughs> wow. Well, hello there. Hello. I took so much damage trying to get over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, just don't do that. No promises. Base here buddies. we are. Base buddies, yeah. Yeah. I get top bunk. You get top bunk? Okay, okay. you know what? I, I'm cool with that. So, yes, we are base buddies. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to uh, our shared island that Lane yeah. terraformed. And that tree back there, that was also Lane. Yeah, and then the new mega structure that's underneath the tree. Yes, I will address that here in a bit. As for the wool, I I made all the the wool the wool snakes that are everywhere that don't make any sense. The wool snakes. <laughs> and the signs. That's why we're here. I'm going to explain to you what the wool snakes may represent. None of this is solidified yet. I'm still playing all of this by ear. Basic premise of what I had in mind for up here was the alpha test for a lore SMP that I would like to do someday called Utopia SMP basic premise at the moment is that it's different districts devoted to high different districts <laughs> <laughs> devoted to certain types of agriculture or other industrial things that most minecraft necessities that need to be addressed and provided yeah. so we have over here this big plot of land is going to be the farming district Okay. So all of the crops. Not sure if we're going to be having animals or not yet. Part of the alpha test is whether or not we're going to be needing animals. <laughs> this next section is going to be devoted to mining. The mining district in particular is another thing that we need to alpha test whether or not we actually need it. The next one is the security division. So specifically for if we're not able to sleep, these guys are going to be in charge of dispatching the mobs. And the big part that is gonna need a lot of work is now specifically inside the tree for now because i did not have the heart to tear it down or cover it up in any way so it's going to be inside the tree instead this is going to be the community center where everybody is addressed where announcements are given yeah as as i was just telling um my viewers a minute ago i have full intentions on just covering this thing up and so you'll you'll have all this space not not a big square here in the center yeah okay a big okay. off-centered square. Noted. Okay. So yeah, the biggest announcement I think is going to be whether or not members join or leave, which is going to be a big part of the story for Utopia SMP, as far as I know. But again, all of this is up in the air, and I'm playing this completely by ear. <laughs> for all I know, this may wind up continuing to be a hollow tree. That's the part. That's the biggest part of this. Is it's we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah. We don't know. So far, all I have figured out is the pathway that leads up to the community center over there. Uh, potentially a docking area for how people get in here, maybe. And that may change to a fishing district. We shall see. <laughs> There's so much that could that could happen. But yeah. I don't want to get bogged down in it too much because otherwise it's not fun. And I want it to be fun. Right, right. Feel it out. See what works for now. Sounds good to me. I've done all the practical stuff already. Now I just need to figure out if everything's necessary. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get it figured out. Yeah. I'm, I'm super excited for this. I am too. Yeah, I've been looking at this island this whole time, just just trying to figure out what all could be done on here. Yeah. What and do you then think could when, be done? Well, I, I don't know. Here's <laughs> the thing. But when we initially discussed possibly basing together, I I, I was like, okay, th this this could work. It, it cuts my workload in half. <laughs> Same, because I did not want to build the lab underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so weird that we both kind of had the same premise, but the one part that we didn't want to do is the part that the other person wanted to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for the record, uh, when, when we discussed this, she brought up doing a utopia thing, and I'll admit, I didn't know what a utopia thing was at first <laughs> until I Googled it, and I seen the color palette, and I was like, okay, well, that will actually match what I'm doing. And that, that's where this whole thing uh, kind of came about. Modern grunge. And, and here we are. Or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Well, do you want to see what I've done? Yes, please. I want to see. Still figuring out the lighting situation, but I am super, super thrilled with how it turned out. It's a big so, square. Oh my word. Yeah. I have not seen this in person yet. Yeah. yeah. So right here is going to be the entrance. It's going to curve around into the, the ravine that's over there. Oh, you're, you're vandalizing my signs now? I have to. You did all mine. <laughs> <laughs> and the 
door on the opposite end over there is going to be the uh, the nether portal to get in down here. So we will have to do some some fancy maths to uh, make sure You'll it doesn't. Do some fancy uh, maths. I can't help yeah. you with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have got a uh, ten other well nine other rooms that I've got to figure out what to do with, because one of them is going to be a massive storage uh, system, and oh I mean. <laughs> Well, it's going to be the fanciest storage system that I have ever done. Like, I mean, redstone to a level that I have never done before. Yeah, this one, I'm thinking staircase that leads down to the lower floors. Gotcha. Which leads us down here to this area. Yeah, no, down here, I'm still figuring out what all to do. Box. Um, hmm. Oh, you're, in, oh, you found a box. I found a box. <laughs> <laughs> there Yay, we go. we are fish. <laughs> fish <laughs> okay anyway sorry <laughs> but but yeah in these other four uh rooms i have zero idea what to put in those down here is where <laughs> my favorite area is um just because of how much different color and stuff i've added in down here it looks like a simon says but in a good way but, uh, <laughs> yeah i've got to figure out what to do with the rooms down here and stuff like that the initial idea was to have these uh, color-coded quadrants kind of dictating what goes back there behind the uh, the rooms. And then I realized, well, it probably would have made more sense to put the doors on the diagonals with these different colors, which, I mean, I guess could possibly change. Uh, another um, thing you as could you do can is, see, uh, oh, it, since yep. blue and green make teal, you can make this room teal. Oh, that's a cool idea. That's or, genius. Yeah. I knew then, bringing you down here was a good idea. <laughs> and then green and orange make, I think it's brown. So this make a color. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, that's loud. Okay, I'm taking care of that. <laughs> anyway, as we were saying before, but yeah, that that's basically it down here so far. I still don't know what I'm doing with my build, so... Tune in next time to see if E even tries. Until next time. <laughs> I want to, though. I was happy. You should be happy. The only plan I have so far is just spamming fields everywhere for this, and then putting houses here and there. The only plans I have is for the farming district, and that's not good, because there's supposed to be three different districts. Well, the farming district, I mean... I mean, it, it, it's it's farms. I mean, that, that that's an easy plan yeah. to make. The thing that I've been considering is just making this entire island just dedicated to the farming district. So this could be an alpha test of one of the districts. I think I, mean, I might just yeah, do that, that. I could do that. Because the mining district in particular would just not work at all because of the stuff that's underneath. And I don't want to impede on what you're doing. Well, to be fair, um, depending on where exactly you put like a mine entrance at, it shouldn't impede too much. And honestly, that might be a cool way to connect both bases. Yeah, all I have in For mind now. right now is just fields and s slightly industrialized housing. Nothing I mean, else. either way, I think it'll be pretty cool. Thanks. I still need to figure out my color palettes, too. Because I'm thinking yeah. somewhat like what you're doing, so whites and the deep slate, but also utilizing either birch or spruce to break it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can confirm that the deep slate looks good with it. Noted. If you need quartz or anything, I set up more villagers over- Ow, ow, I did Where'd not mean to hit the rocket button. I did not mean to hit the rocket you button. You just skipped like a um, pebble, dude. <laughs> yeah. I set up more villagers over there at our village. Gotcha. So there's quite a few of them. Guys, may I- Very first seed about to be planted in the farming district. Okay, thank you for, con for your contribution to science. For science. For science. As per somebody's request, I believe it's about time that I got a couple upgrades for my tools. Not the tools that you think, though. Yeah, no, not the sword, not the shovel. <laughs> I got a netherite ingot for Valentine's Day, and of all the tools that I'm going to use it on, I'm going to use it on the one tool that I don't have yet. 
I'm not even gonna get the achievement either. I accidentally picked up Elzho when I was rescuing her stuff from an unfortunate demise. I don't have a smithing table. Or a mending book. I should probably go grab those first. <laughs> We're gonna need to grab some oak wood in here anyway. Off to my ladies. Wait, does she even have... Of course she doesn't. Okay, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. There's that. Can't believe I'm doing this. Oh boy, mending on a hoe. I must be a Minecraft YouTuber now. <laughs> okay, smithing table. Where? Where do I find one? Is it upstairs? Please, Millie. Please. It's not upstairs. Grand. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go back. Gotta go all the way back. It only seems right to do- ow. It only seems right to do it in here. Arm. Arm. Right. Smithing template. Forgot about that. I realize I have another one in my bag for emergencies, but again, that's up for emergencies, so I'm not gonna use it. I can actually know how to craft this this time. Right? Yes. Haha. -ha. Bonk. 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 And there we go! Empress Littlebit's first netherite hoe before she even gets her first netherite sword. <laughs> what are my priorities? Why are my priorities so wonky? Oh well, we embrace the wonk here. Anyway, what the original plan was going to be was finally working on the mega base. About time that I got you guys all caught up on all of that. I'll meet you there. Uh yeah, Lane linked up the portals down here instead of up here because of secrets. Ow! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need to eat. Eat food. Eat food, friends. Also, hydration check. Back on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful island with the smallest wheat fields that you will ever see. But I have some bigger plans for the- for this. All of this. And I completely forgot to bring one of those items, but I will grab it later. Because that's not the priority for today. Priority for today is this blue box over here. Now this blue box is subject to change. In fact, it is not only subject to change, it is definitely gonna change. I forgot my shears. I'm a genius. <laughs> Sorry, no, I shouldn't be I shouldn't be mean to myself. I forgot my shears. Oh well, we'll tear it down without shears, that's fine. So remember those plans that I said where we would have a security vi- the, the security- Anyway, when we said that we would have a security division and a mining division within this utopian community, I decided we're not doing that anymore. Yay! Yeah, it's just gonna be one division for now. Uh, one, it's gonna be easier for me to handle, and two, it's gonna be easy for me to build. Cause one, I don't know what's going in the security division. I don't know what they would need. And two, mining division is a little bit hard. The most that I could probably do is just a very small cave back here. Not very intuitive, especially if all of this it's just gonna be wheat fields. Oh, oh, by the way, all of this is gonna be wheat fields. So if all of this is gonna be wheat fields and just small houses anyway, I don't really see the point in having a mining community on top of a farming community. So you know what? Might as well just stick to the single agricultural division. So while they could fit, I don't think I have the stamina or the time to get all four or three, however many divisions there are on this island by myself. So if plans do change, I will let you guys know. But for now, we're just gonna stick with the farming community because that's easier for my little brain to handle. Not little, sorry. For my otherwise occupied brain to handle. It's sleepy time, hold on. I don't have a bed. I'm sure somebody else will sleep. <laughs> yep, I called it, ha 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 ha, I know my friends. So as you can see here, this is the start of our very first field. The plan is to cover this entire island in wheat and sunflowers, much like what uh, Green is doing in Hermitcraft for his area. Shout out to him. Absolutely amazing and creative genius, especially when it comes to Minecraft. But we're not going to work on the fields right now. We will work on them later. That is why I have my handy dandy netherite hoe that I'm so proud of. I'm so proud of the fact that I got a netherite hoe before I got a netherite sword. <laughs> That's something only a normal person would do, especially a pro at Minecraft, not somebody who's only been playing Minecraft for two years now. <laughs> anyway, since we may not be doing the mining tunnel over here, Lane suggested that I make a build somewhere around this area in which we can connect up 
his base to my base. I was just flying back to the island after picking up some more supplies just in case, and somebody left a perfectly good golden apple in here, and a perfectly good enchanted golden apple. We have visitors down the base. One second, I'm a little busy freaking out over the enchanted golden apple that nobody else grabbed up except for me, apparently. Oh my word, it's dark, and I'm very lost. I think I might have overshot. <laughs> 10, 62, 4, 28. Okay, gotcha. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, see, this is what happens. This is what happens. My computer does not load in the chunks, so I don't know where I'm going. And I can't elytra into them. Otherwise, I may wind up splat like a pancake, like I did in the end. If you guys haven't seen that episode, go check it out, please. Oh, and I'm, I'm not feeling too good. One second. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. Never wander out in the wilderness alone, kids. You'll wind up phasing out of existence, like me, on the edge of the world. Cold and alone. Southeast, okay. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. We need to be careful here. I don't want to die. I'm gonna die. Ice is gonna kill me. Ah, there's a tree. I don't feel too good. <laughs> Just phasing in and out of existence. Ow, ow, ow. I'm in the middle of a crisis. It needs to be no. This is why I should have taken the portals. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to have an adventure. Okay, there's some loaded chunks. Okay, thank God, I made it. Oh my word. And I actually think I might leave it as a dead tree. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on a color palette for the past hour-ish. Don't judge me. Hi, Apollo. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of mud, maybe dark oak. I don't think I'm actually gonna use it, but I have it just in case. And lots of diorite and andesite. Sake! And then I just threw my acacia wood in there just as in case I may need another gray piece in the mix. Big inspiration strike from Oda's cube that he built in the shopping district. Izzy and I have since binged the entirety of Portal 2 again. Oh. <laughs> Gonna try my best not to do spoilers here, but it's just the color palette. Just so you know, it's just the color palette for the inspiration for this build. Hence all of the diorites and the andesite specifically, I think will look really good in this one. Um, as for the oak, I usually absolutely detest oak, but one, we're right next to an oak tree, so I have to tie it in somehow. And two, since this oak wood is more of a cool tone compared to something like spruce or dark oak, since it's more of a cool tone, I think it will complement the diorite and the andesite a lot better. May not be my favorite, but I think it will be my favorite for this color palette for now. That's enough of explaining from me. Let's get into the build. But first, we should probably plant all of these seeds because, you know, wheat fields aren't going to grow themselves and this is going to be a very long process. So can't get over the beats that they make. Makes me want to write a song. I'm not gonna, but it makes me want to do it. Now it's building time. As you can see here, we started with your basic cube with a little bit of die right at the top. Uh, Oda, Amelia, and Lane just watched me build for a good chunk of the beginning of it, and then they proceeded to leave while I muddied out the edges and did a little bit more detailing, texturing, etc. And then I decided to experiment with a couple different gradients. This one looked horrible, as did this one. Help. I finally realized that I was just overcomplicating the whole thing and just threw down a couple of blocks of calcite and realized, oh, that's how you do a gradient. You just do stripes, not vertically, just horizontally. So just blended in that diorite and andesite from top to bottom with a couple distractions along the way. All right, yep. I'm going to go take a bathroom break real quick. You know the drill. Speaking of junk. <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> I've got water if you need it. <laughs> is she full? She's finally full. <laughs> Mission accomplished. At this point, she's already expecting it. I mean, Let's there's see. no what way that she's not through into this. my inventory this <laughs> yep. time. <laughs> Obsidian. Ooh, that's gonna be nice for later. Whoa. You're welcome. Uh oh. By the way, uh, you guys missed a ruined portal. Oh wow, nice. A golden one and an enchanted. There's a one. golden one and an enchanted one in the same chest. boy. So 
Well, I finished up the build real quick, just finished up all of those other gradients on the other sides of the walls, slapped a roof on top of there, took a couple tries but I got there eventually, and I decided, you know what? This barn needs needs an offshoot. It's a bit too flat, so it needed a couple more rooms, I believed. So I built the offshoot and realized that I built it one block too short in one side. So I decided to pull that out just a little bit, tore it back down, and built it back up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Then fixed up the roof a little bit more. Yes, I pillar up with frog lights. Please don't judge me. If you would too, if it was the only block that you had on hand that could break easily with any tool, including your fist. And I realized that these walls looked very, very bare. So I did what's only natural to me and just slapped a furnace on it and then I realized hey that looks kind of good let's just do this for a couple of the other walls I may or may not have done that on the every single wall also I got interrupted by these dudes so I had to show them who's boss and just yeet them off the cliff with my knockback 100 sword it's not 100 I'm not sure what knockback it is but it's pretty dang powerful apparently and this guy also didn't get the message so I decided to educate him a little sharply but you know I think he got the point <laughs> anyway, I fixed up the floor in both rooms. This one was especially fun because I decided, hey, let's just do my standard and slap even more furnaces everywhere. And then I decided to detail the doors. And you know what's not only natural for doors is using iron doors of all things. Again, expensive, but they look so cool. Look at it. Look at these doors. Look at these doors. It's only natural that I could use these doors. They fit the color scheme so well. Then I realized that the trapdoor wasn't going to sit right. But then I remembered that uh, Oda had given me the lever in the soup earlier. And that worked so perfectly. So thank you, Oda. And then, of course, I had to finish up the build with a little back garden area with a bunch of stone and andesite wall walls along with some oak fences that I slept on top of those bad boys right here and of course there had to be the iron catwalk as well and that's it the outside is done check it out this is my first time experimenting with the concept of what is called brutalism so very flat walls very few decor not much poking out from the corners especially it's definitely a more industrial style than I am used to at all this wall is very plain but I'm choosing not to touch it. In the lore, this is, I believe, what they would call the barn. In the barn is where all of the machinery goes. And in this case, in the lore, this is where Lane and I are going to be linking the downstairs lab to up here. So there's going to be definitely going to be some secret entrance in here somewhere. And I haven't done the interior yet. We'll save that for another time. But up these stairs, you'll see the catwalk that is on its way to the over there. I don't have enough materials for all of the iron trap doors to get over there quite yet. And then of course we have the little room over here, probably going to be some sort of laundry room. So all of the utopia people can get their laundry done and have clean clothes, etc., so that they can work in a clean environment because that's important to a utopia. Otherwise it just gets sad. I think that's going to finish it up for today. So thank you all so much for joining me. I love you all very much. Make sure to go eat some food, drink some water, and go touch something outside if you can. If not, that's okay. I'm gonna get some dinner. You should probably get some too or whatever meal will sustain you till the next one. Love you all very much. Make sure to check out everybody else who appeared in this episode. Their links will be in the description down below. And I love you very much. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, I love you.